Hi, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com and in this video you will learn how to create continuous scrolling text effect in PowerPoint 2013. The scrolling text effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, as soon as I went into the slideshow, the scrolling starts and this keeps going on and on till I hit the next slide. So that is the effect you are going to learn today and you can use this to make some key announcements during your presentations. Let me show you how to create this interesting scrolling text effect from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and the first step is to go to auto shapes menu. Under basic shapes I am going to pick up this text box tool and I am going to write the text that I want to continuously loop. So maybe I can say something like this is the text I want to loop continuously till the end of slide. I am just writing some text at random and maybe I can make this slightly bigger so it is easily visible for the audience. The next thing is I am going to add animation to this one. So let us go to the animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon and keep the animation pane open so you can see what I am going to do here. The animation that I am going to add to this is fly in animation. So that is one of the entrance animations here. You will see that option right off the bat here. You can click on fly in animation. The default direction of fly in animation is from the bottom. We want to have it from right. So this is how the scrolling is going to happen. As you can see the speed of the animation is really fast so I am going to increase the duration so the scrolling happens at a more uh, leisurely pace. So I am going to go here and say 10 seconds as the duration for uh, the text to fly in. The next thing is I am going to change the time it starts. So as you can see here it says start on click I am going to say it needs to start with previous. So as soon as the slideshow starts you will see that this animation starts happening. So that is the thing that we are going to do. The next step is to make a duplicate of this. I am going to press Ctrl D. When I did that you can see that this copy also has the same characteristics as the previous one. It also has the same with previous start and it also has 10 seconds as duration. But the one thing that we are going to change is we are going to add a delay of exactly half the duration of the animation earlier. So in this case we have 10 seconds as the duration for the earlier one. We are going to retain for retain the same 10 seconds for duration however we are going to add a delay of 5 seconds. Now I am going to select both this text. Go to home tab, go to arrange, go to align and say align center. Then go to arrange align and say align middle so they both are placed one on top of the other. Then the last step is to zoom out by going to the zoom out and zoom in option in the status bar and I am going to move these to one side outside the slide area. As you can see here this is the slide area and I have kept it just outside the slide area. So when the fly in animation happens it happens from this side and you can actually see the scroll here and because the second one has a delay it starts after the first one pretty much goes out of the scene. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how the effect happens. Since I said the animations should start with previous, as soon as I put the slideshow on automatically the animation has happened and this has happened after 5 seconds of duration. Now we have done pretty much the essentials that is required for creating the continuous scrolling loop. But then as you can see here this ends after one animation. We want this to happen till the end of slide. So how do we do that? We have selected both the animations here. If not you can select both of them while holding the shift button and then go to the small arrow here to the right of the animation event. Go to effect options. Go to timing. Then go to this option called repeat and then click on the small arrow here which opens up this drop down menu. Click on until end of slide and then say OK. Now you can see that these animations are going to loop endlessly till you go to the next slide. So let us go to the slideshow mode. You can see that the first animation has started with previous and now there is 5 second delay that has happened as a result the second one has appeared 
and now because we have continuously looped it the previous animation has started and the previous one with five seconds delay has started and that keeps on going till the time you go to the next slide so that is how you create the continuous scrolling text effect in powerpoint i hope that was useful i want to give a quick shout out to our other youtube channel called prezo training website it is a youtube channel in which i post daily so you can find some basic and essential powerpoint skills videos in prezo training website youtube channel go check it out i hope you really like the tutorial you saw in this video if you did then you will really love our 25 creative ideas email course you will get daily email lessons for 5 days with tips and techniques in powerpoint you can implement readily you will be able to access videos downloads and examples to learn easily and thoroughly so click on this red button here and start your free course now and i'll see you inside the email course